Good afternoon from the Tibu Mana Waterfall. Now this is probably a little more busy than I thought it would be. Usually we've been the only tourists here, but I do see a couple cars and motorbikes, so we'll kind of see what the situation is like when we get down to the waterfall. And here's our man, he's gonna sell us our tickets. Hello, Park. Hello. How much are tickets? 15 per person. 15, okay, and for the kids? You tell you, me the total. I'll, be, I'll give you one ticket. Okay. Okay. So 45 for 45. Life. Great. Thank you, Puck. All right, we'll do 100. Yeah. Thank you, Puck. This is your ticket in terms. Okay, thank you, Puck. Appreciate it. Chamakashi. All right, thank you. Just down the yeah. trail, yeah? Okay, thank you. All right, so not bad. He uh, comped one of the kids. We pr always appreciate those kind of things. And so now we'll move on and take a look down the path here. The Tibumana walking path is paved and smooth. We're also surrounded by a bunch of restaurants and little um, snack shops. Also, to kind of counter that, you've got all the rice terraces. Now, they must have just recently harvested because all the rice is gone. But it's a beautiful area, no doubt for sure. And there's a nice temple up ahead. Bit of a closed restaurant here. But if this is the path down, it's going to be pretty smooth sailing. Let's see. Yeah, lots of rice terraces. All right, here's our first little split. That temple is also really nice. But we're here for the waterfall. We'll bypass the temple this time around. So many little shops here. It's really well marked. That's nice. Got all the signs. Thank you. Have a come on. Maybe after. Yeah, I like you. Okay, thank you. All right, so the gentleman was nice enough to point us in the right direction and down some steps we go. Oh, it's so lush through here. Kind of like everywhere we've seen so far, these approaches to the waterfalls are beautiful. Just lush green everywhere. The steps can definitely be a little slippery. All right, so looks like uh, from the main trail here, you always have lots of options. So again, we're doing the waterfall. There's also, you know, that, that way. It looks like maybe another little temple. And uh, lots of little stores. Thank you, Park. Thank you. Terimakashi. Nice to meet you. All Thank right, you. here we go. Let's head on down. A little steep, a little wet. I'm glad we got these rails. Kind of steep, huh? Yeah. We got it though. Yeah, just uh, you know, throw a, a baby into the mix and you're rocking and rolling. All right, now he's starting to flatten out here. I mean, what is this used for? You've got that there, and then look at that mud wall. That's just, that just looks like it's gonna collapse at some point or another. Little rest station. Oh yeah, that's all just mud wall. Woo. Very pretty. Awesome. Looks like we gotta walk the plank up here. Can you walk the plank? A 
little bit of an effort to get here coming down all the stairs but it looks like it's going to be a pretty rewarding waterfall I can definitely hear the waterfall on the approach and I can hear voices so there's certainly more people down here all right definitely getting louder I can hear voices oh wow that is a big waterfall Woo. looks like we got a big family here oh there's my family got some rocks here Woo. yeah very cool <laughs> nice yeah just gorgeous so one big group and then us and that's all that's down here Very cool. Oh yeah, a little cave back there. There's a bunch of family. Yeah, yeah gorgeous. So this is definitely a cool place for great photos right here. Even though there's a big group, everybody's kind of spreading out. So you can definitely, even with one big group, you can still snap some great photos. So a beautiful walk down. Lots of people having fun. And uh, this is uh, definitely one of those waterfalls you should check out. I just, uh, it's like a perfect column of water. I think we're gonna try to go grab some coconuts. Looks like a lot of people had our idea. You know, really, this has been the busiest that we've seen really any sort of on the beaten path tourist destination. It is uh, totally worth coming down. You get to walk on a nice trail. You get to see some great jungle. And if luck will have it, we'll find ourselves uh, with the coconut here in just a minute. Let's find out. Okay, it is boiling hot and humid out here. So we figured uh, we'll connect with Pac here and he'll hook us up for the coconut. So 15,000 for a coconut. Okay, why not? Where are you from? America. America. Yeah. Nice to be in Indonesia. How long have you stayed in Bali? Oh, Bali, two weeks. But Indonesia, we've been here, let's see, three months now oh, since we got our work now. visas. Yeah, we live in Papua now. Oh, Papua. Yeah. Long time to go to holiday? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, six weeks. Oh, six weeks. Why? Long time? Yeah, summer, vacation, teachers. Oh, yeah. That looks great. All right, oh, thank you. What do you think, Forrest? Yum, yum. Yum, yummy. Woo! No. Nah. <laughs> I think Kelly and I are going to be more of the uh, connoisseurs of fine coconuts. Boris, give me thumbs up. We'll give it a try. Thank you. Oh, that's good. The baby has no taste. That's delicious. All right, so despite the fact that that waterfall is pretty busy with people, uh, it was totally worth the effort. Everyone is just chowing down on their coconuts now. And this is the guy right opposite the temple. He's got these really good young coconuts. Let's see if we can get a scoop here. Aha, yes. So absolutely delicious. Mm. And to recharge electrolytes and uh, you know, all the coconut meat, yum. All right, so Maddie was just explaining to us that uh, we are his, it's, so it's about 2.30 in the afternoon right now. And we are the first customers he's had all day. So his only sales at this point in time are two coconuts. So 30,000 rupiah, which is pretty sad when you think about it. He was saying that typically during non-corona times, you know, it's people all the time up and down, super busy. So who knows what he had yesterday or what he'll have tomorrow until tourism really picks back up. So I'm glad we are here now at least to support and, and just the effort of buying a couple of coconuts uh, just throws a little cash into his pocket. And that's been sort of our experience all throughout Indonesia. Anytime you can stop, grab a water, grab coconuts, have some uh, little chips, do it. I mean, it's, it's so inexpensive comparatively. So uh, anyway, I'm glad we are here to help out. Mm -hmm.